this is a BMW X2. This is the X-Drive 20D. And, wait, it would help if I was a bit prepared for this. BMW Park Lane has provided me the keys with it. So, let's go see what this is about. So, let's go. Um, basically, oh, it's got reverse camera, amazing. Um, so this is a two litre, four pot, four cylinder, um, turbocharged diesel, um, which goes by the formal name of the X2 X Drive 20D. Um, gives it 147 brake, which is around 190 PS. A lot of companies are preferring PS these days. Um, with around 400 newton meters. It's a tool. strange one. The sort of crossover is essentially a gap filler. Oh. So the crossover, um, the X2, is obviously in competition with like the Q2, um, with the Mercedes GLA. Why does traffic look so horrendously busy? We're going to go this way. Um, it's obviously, yeah, in competition with, um, I guess you could also include the, the like Range Rover Evoque to a degree the size is around the same I, I think a lot of people get put off by the whole crossover cars we'll do this up. um because oh hello Aventador SV um <laughs> a lot of people sort of yeah can't make up their minds on them it's like someone's just lifted a hot hatch but not turned it into an SUV and it's just a very strange one um, to try and explain it to people. And then you get the whole, oh, it's like a essentially soccer mum car because it's for people who don't want to be the typical Range Rover type, but you know, they still want a nice car. So it's, it's a strange one. I'm not actually complaining about how comfy this seat is right now. This is actually a really comfy seat. Um, it's also a very nice smooth drive currently sat in central central london traffic um and it's i mean it's really quiet for a diesel normally they're really like Wah! this is this is nice i want to actually get onto roads where i can see if the turbo whistles a lot I love it when there's a lot of turbo whistle. I think it sounds great. But, um, yeah, let's see. Okay, so, let's test out sport mode. Sport, what? Um, obviously the same as with what happens to mine. Everything gets a bit firmer when it comes to steering. When it comes to the suspension, it all stiffens up, obviously, to be able to handle the speed a bit better and it's not quite as bouncy. Um, to say you're higher up, you don't get a sense of like body roll or anything, it's actually quite good. I'm actually really impressed with how nippy this engine is, but yeah, it's very responsive. The torque hits you, so this is a, I'm impressed with the XT, I'm impressed with it. feature I found um if we go right, let me show you um land to vehicle settings under my vehicle do lights interior lighting you can pick the color um this I find is my favorite it matches the color of the car <laughs> it does it in the rear of the car 
I'm such a child. Um, oh, you can turn it off, which, no. Um, I really want these light bars on my M140. Um, especially if they just look like this. I love it, it's so pretty. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how spacious that rear is? Like, it's amazing. So I had to refill my outro, but a massive, massive thank you to BMW Park Lane for allowing me to have the X2. Um, I actually really changed my mind on it. I had just referred to it as a gap filler and never really understood the sort of purpose of it, but it's there if you don't quite want to get an SUV, but it's there if you're not wanting something as small as a hatchback. It handles amazing, especially on the country roads I was driving on. Um, it's really spacious, so it's there as like a family car, or even if you just want a daily, or to take your friends away for a weekend. It really is an all-rounder. Um, the two-litre turbocharged engine is really nippy, and I was really kind of a big fan of it. Um, Misano Blue, I found out the paint colour, um, really suits it, and I really like it. But, um, yeah, I was really, really enjoyed it. So, massive thank you. Below are the links to BMW Park Lane's social media and their website and everything, and um, also a link to the album of photos I took of the car. Bye.